Hey, I hope uh, you're doing well and you're not too hungry. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Talk for Android. Some people seem to be using that, so that's a good sign. Uh, so who am I? I started initially working at Nextcloud on Nextcloud files, and I see Frank is smiling, which I'm not sure is a good thing. Uh, but I'm going to tell you a little story. When he told me, like, who wants to work on Nextcloud Talk for Android? I was like, really? We're going to try to solve a problem that other companies have hundreds of employees working on, and we're going to try to solve it with what? Like, there's what, four or five of us in a team? Seriously? Are you crazy? I know he wants to take over the world, but this is like whole another scale of trying to take over the world. But like eight months later, it looks like the Android app is there. And you can even talk. Like somebody calls you, you get a pop-up, Ivan wants to talk to me. Why again? Couldn't somebody better call me? But yeah, sure. It works, you can even chat, but Ivan and Joas told you a little bit about it already. So uh, to summarize what we did in the last eight months for Android, uh, on average like 20K active users, average rating 4.5, uh, that's because people mostly complain about the app not being able to cook eggs and stuff like that. So there, there are absolutely no stability issues, nobody complains about stability issues or st things like that, they mostly don't know how to set up Nextcloud or stuff like that, so we need to do a little bit more work on education. Uh, you can see there are 184 ratings. Out of that, 102 people actually wrote something, either good or bad, but mostly good. So what are the good, bad, and ugly things about Nextcloud Talk for Android? So the good thing is, People mostly don't complain about stability or features. That's because the stability is awesome and we have really, really great features. Some of those features cannot even be found in some of the commercial solutions and I'm sure things like client certificate authentication cannot be found in any open source communication platform, which is good. And we also do some really fancy stuff like decompiling operating systems to be able to show notifications on fancy phones like Huawei and stuff like that, which is really, really hard. Uh, what did we go, where did we go next? Oh, right, the bad part. The bad part is we still have quite a lot to do in order to catch up with some of the existing players in the field, which is what you can see here. But in order to do that, we need to convince Yoas and Ivan and Yoyo to do some support for it on the server side. Awesome. So they have more work to do. And what about the ugly part? Well, the ugly part is there's still quite a lot to do in the app that's not really visible. Like maybe some smoother animation, maybe finding a way to uh, allow the app to run uninterrupted without the operating system killing it, which Google makes harder every day. And these are the tasks that you can help with. Uh, it seems everybody wants contributors, but I want them more, so please contribute to Talk for Android. I don't care if you're a developer, designer, uh, a guy who can write, a guy who can talk, I don't really care. Just stop contributing to whatever you're contributing to and come help me. Uh, so why would you? Like, there are so many apps, maybe you already contribute to some in the ecosystem, but so I'll give you the three most important reasons why you should do this. So one, uh, you should definitely help shape the world's finest open source self-hosted solution. Sure, you can do that by contributing to Nextcloud server or, sp or the Nextcloud talk on the server or IS app or whatever, but you'll make the most impact by contributing to talk for Android, of course. The reason number two, you'll improve yourself. So the Nextcloud talk for Android is quite recent and you will get to know good architecture and learn about a lot of people who do really fancy and good stuff. The third thing is you'll stand here in a year time telling people how you help connect to people in separate parts of the planet or how you landed a great job at Nextcloud or somewhere else because you did things nobody else in the world did. 
And of course, the fourth and the most important reason is you get to work with me and we will do awesome things together. That was it. Thank you. Join in on the fun.